Hello, and this is We You and Me with a new edition of We You and Me Talks. Today, with me, I have Josh. Hello. And Demelza. Hello. That's her first time on We You and Me Talks, and today we're talking about the new E3 news. Um, so, in the week, we got news that at E3, Nintendo is not doing a press conference again. Instead, we are getting a Smash Invitational Tournament with 16 of the top Smash Bros players. Uh, Smash Bros available to play the Wii U version at Best Buys in America and also a Nintendo digital event at 9am Pacific time which is going to be hopefully similar to Nintendo Direct last year. Also uh, the Treehouse will be covering Nintendo games all throughout E3. So first initial impressions to this you guys? Um, I don't think it's a good idea really because Last year's attempt at Nintendo Direct sort of worked in their favour, I think. Sort of being away from the stage and sort of going off and doing their own thing. Sort of, it worked well and it built up the momentum that they sort of needed, I think. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see them do it again. Yeah. yeah I do agree with the bells there because, let's be honest, how many birds are actually going to be at you to be able to appreciate the presentation? Yeah, it's true. It's, I mean, we all see it. Most of us see it by streaming it online, to be honest. Yeah, so they're kind of testing our audience, but then they last year, which is why I am going to do the best buy thing as well, so ordinary, uh, ordinary people can play the games as well. Yes, um, of course the actual video done by Mega64 was actually pretty amazing as well, with the <laughs> Phil's a mech. Um, I didn't actually think that was official until you told me, but... <laughs> I was waiting for a Oh god, don't don't get him started. Um, do you think the digital event is going to be basically a Nintendo Direct or is it going to be a bit different? I think I think it will be a Nintendo Direct. It'll probably be a bit bigger and a bit better and a bit higher budget than what they normally do, but at heart it will just be sort of a Nintendo Direct. Yeah. At this point they haven't really told us what separates it from a Direct other than the name. Yeah. Um, well, it looks a bit. I guess it's just to make it look a bit fancier. Um, last year, they just had the direct, and there was a bit of streaming issue as well. But hopefully, if they can nail that down. Well, which... there aren't streaming issues in Nintendo Direct. <laughs> well, the, like the first half an hour, nobody was really watching. People were like, "What? Mario Kart's been announced? What?" Um. So also, we've got lots of Smash Brothers details coming out. Is Smash Brothers going to be like a leading game at E3? Do you think? I think it'll have to be, because unless they've got something bigger and better to offer, I mean, Smash Bros is the leading game for the rest of the year for the Wii U. Yeah, it's definitely paid for the tenfold. So anything that Nintendo do announce at E3, I imagine won't be released until next year at the earliest. Well, we know that Zelda's going to be there, so that's going to be a pretty big thing. Zelda yeah. will be a big thing, but Zelda is at least another year away, so it's yeah. Smash Bros. Is Sort of in the, in the limelight, so to speak, I would say. I'd like to see um, Smash, Smash Brothers come to game as well, because America's yeah. getting it all at the moment. Yeah, but they could do something like that for the UK as well, that would be brilliant. Didn't Xbox, yeah, there was Xbox people at the Wii U demos last year, wasn't there? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're reading that at the Best Buy demo of Microsoft employees trying to move people away from the demos and attract the pre order the Xbox One. <laughs> I remember that. They were like, just go away. <laughs> um, but the, of course, the one that's a bit mysterious at the moment is the Treehouse uh, at E3 Live. Um, they say it's going to be just throughout the Direct and the whole E3 you know, show, but is it going to be like that, or do you think they're just going to pick out moments? I don't know. That's what Nintendo is doing. I imagine the, uh, they might have kept time tune in via whatever streaming service they decide to use or put up pre-recorded videos like a day after or something. It'd be interesting to see if they can like draw any attention away from like the Sony and Microsoft conferences. I guess they're trying. that's what they're trying to do. Yeah, it all works well during presentation. Now, how about we talk to the Treehouse guys of New Zelda? Tomodachi Life. <laughs> yeah, that'll be, that'll be out before, just before you three, won't When is it out? It's 6th of June, I think. Oh, okay, that's like four days, jeez. Yeah, 
Yeah. So we'll probably still be there to smoke it. Mario Kart's going to be fresh in mind as well at that point. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a DLC announcement. Maybe. Maybe I want to see some of the games back before I think that DLC. <laughs> That's true, of course. Well, I mean, I'm just excited for Zelda. I hope it is like that tech demo. I mean, I like all the Wind Waker styles, but... Oh, I mean, we've had Wind Waker, and even though it's sort of a remake, it's been there, it's sort of still fresh. It needs to be a different style, I think, the next one. Yeah, because, I mean, the the kind of Toony style was used for a lot of games, like Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks. Yeah, and I... Spirit Tracks is still not... I'm still fresh in mind, I suppose. It's not that old. It's only, what, three years, I think? Yeah, and A Link Between Worlds as well. Yeah. A Link, yeah. I, I think it'll have to go more sort of Twilight Princess sort of style. I hope so. I really yeah. I think Nintendo need a game like that that looks... I'm not saying their other games aren't mature. <laughs> Twilight Princess and the GameCube's age better than Skyward Sword, I'm kind of thinking so. Yeah, it's true, I guess. But, you know, the Sky Skyward Sword, it was starting to show its age by the end. Yeah. If, if I remember right, Wind Waker HD only came about because <sighs> Nintendo were testing this and art style in HD. They decided they liked Wind Waker, but I guess they also chose not to use it. They remade the game to compensate. Yeah, when they remade a Zelda game, they chose between Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword. I wonder how Twilight Princess would have been if they delayed development and released it as a Wii U launch title. Yeah, I was thinking about that. They could, Like they did with Twilight Princess. Uh, you never know. Bravely default Wii U version. Maybe that'll be the big reveal. <laughs> that'd be really pretty on the Wii U. There were some for cut pieces that they does with in the 3DS games. I'd love to see them in HD on a big screen. Well, we've got so many games we need to hear about, like Yoshi Yan and uh, Shin Megami Tensei. They've got to pop up yeah. eventually. Or well, Nintendo will just forget they ever come to them, and we'll be there forever. <laughs> Please understand. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's going to wrap up this. Oh. Oh, that's what we need. It's gonna, it's gonna come back one day. So um, that's it for this edition of We You and Me Talks. What do you think Nintendo is going to do at E3? What is this digital event? Are we going to see more of the Fields of Mech? Who knows? Tell us below in the comments. See us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time.